Okay, now I want to talk about the OR rules. So we have OR introduction. So what that means is if you know that P is true, then P or anything is true in, in either order. So if you have P, you can write P or Q for literally any choice of Q. Separately, if you have P, you can write Q or P for literally any choice of Q. So that's OR introduction, which is pretty straightforward. The tricky one is OR elimination, which has got two assumption blocks in it. And you can think of all elimination like a proof by cases. So suppose you had P or Q and you were trying to get to R. I know that P or Q is true, which means either P is true or Q is true or they're both true, but I don't know which one, right? So we saw the proof by cases. We assume P to be true and do some stuff and obtain R. So that's one case. And separately, we assume Q to be true do some stuff and obtain R. Aha, in either case it worked. If I assume P, I got R. If I assume Q, I got R, therefore R, by all elimination, because I know one of these guys has to be true. So let's do an example of that. We're going to prove that OR is commutative, i.e. that the order you do OR doesn't matter. So, just like normal, I write my goal down the bottom, and the thing I'm given at the top. Okay? Now, I'm trying to prove something from an OR which means I'm going to have to use OR elimination, where my target here, this thing, is my R. So I'm going to have to somehow, from P, derive my target Q or P, and separately, from Q, derive my target Q or P. Okay? I mean, at this point, the proof is done, because these are just one-liners. If I have P, then I have Q or P, by OR introduction. Simil <coughs> Similarly, if I have Q, then I have Q or P, by all introduction, both cases work, therefore Q or P is true. So we can fill in our line numbers and fill in our rules. So that's given. This is an assumption. Q or P is by or introduction, line 2. This is an assumption. Or introduction, line 4. And this is by or elimination. And quoting the rule is a bit tricky because you've got three separate things to quote. So or elimination. Where was P or Q? It was up here on line 1. Where was the first assumption block? 2 through 3. And where was the second assumption block? 4 through 5. And that's how all elimination works. So I recommend you have a go at a question that was on the tutorial sheet, which is showing that P or Q and R gives you P or Q. Okay? So have a go at proving this.